Welcome back. If your mom has a green thumb, Ulbrich Botanical Gardens may be the place to go this weekend. From a plant sale to a scenic stroll, complete with music, there's going to be a lot to see and do. Mary Jo's this morning with preview. Good morning, Mary Jo. Hi, good morning, Adam and Charlotte. And we're starting the morning off here in the annual tent of the Ulbrich Gardens uh, plant sale with the pros that starts tomorrow morning. And with me today is uh, Katie Plantenberg with Ulbrich. Thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, thanks for coming out. All right, so when I first mentioned that we were doing this plant sale interview to mm -hmm. one of my coworkers, her first reaction was, that's a big one. It is a big one. Yeah, we have lots of plants. We have annuals. Um, as you can see, this whole tent is filled with annuals organized by color. Um, so it's really easy to pick out colors that you want and pick out colors that would go well together. Um, and then we have perennials, herbs, um, shrubs and trees as well too. And where are the plants coming from? They come from um, many suppliers. Most of them are pretty local suppliers. Um, some of them are even grown here. We get them in as bare root plants in March and then they're finished off in our greenhouses. So some of them are a little bit Ulbrich grown too. And something I saw too is that some of these plants, like you said, are Ulbrich uh, grown but there are so many mm -hmm. how many would you say that you guys have can you even count no thousands no. probably um, one of the really cool things too is even if they're not grown here our horticulture staff chooses the plants though um, so you know that the plants that are here are ones that are gonna perform well in this area and you were saying yesterday when we first came here that for yourself even working here you have trouble deciding what you want and just leaving with that because there's so many options do you have uh -huh. any suggestions for people who are just coming out? Um, make a list, maybe kind of figure out what you want and then try to stick to that. Um, otherwise, you can always ask for help here. We have horticulturists on hand to answer questions. We have master gardeners. Um, we spoke with a master gardener yesterday who was telling us about her favorite plants. Um, so maybe just, you know, ask one of the experts and they'll help you figure out what plants are really going to work well for you. And there was a change, I know it was a couple years ago, but even Hattie was asking me this morning uh, about Fridays, mm -hmm. the start of the sale. Do you have to be a member at Oldbrook? or can you just come? Nope, you can just come. It starts at 11. Um, if you are a member though, you get a free um, Fisker's Fiber Comp trowel. So just for coming to the sale. So if you're not a member, you can join at the sale, um, but everyone is welcome. You don't have to be a member to shop. All right, good to know. Mm -hmm. Katie, thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, thank you. Oh, before I let you go real quickly, you also have the Mother's Day concert right, as well. Right, right. On Sunday, um, we have a Mother's Day concert featuring the New Horizons concert band. It's at two to three, um, and it's really popular. People like to come listen to the music and just stroll the gardens too. All right, sounds great. Katie, thanks. You, thanks. Thank you so much. Yep. All right, so the plant sale with the pros here at Ulbrich starts tomorrow morning, like Katie was saying, also runs on Saturday as well. We'll have that information on channel3000.com slash links. And then if you want to come back to Ulbrich and check out some music with mom in the garden, that is on Sunday, May 10th from 2 to 3. Again, that's also a free event. So Adam and Charlotte, a lot of options uh -huh. here this Mother's Day weekend. A lot of nice green options. Love it. Thank you, Mary Jo. This Mother's Day weekend, spend time with mom getting your hands dirty at mm. Old Brick Botanical Gardens. During their plant sale, you're going to get a chance to put together containers and baskets to remember your time together. Mary Jo is there now with one way to create some memories with mom. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Adam and Charlotte. And what better way to spend time with mom than getting your hands dirty without having the mess to clean up after, right? <laughs> so I'm here with uh, Roberta Sladke. She's the director for Albrook Botanical Gardens, and we are working on our own shade container. Shade container, yes. Okay, and we are talking about how important the soil is. Absolutely. You want to have soil that drains very well in a container because those little roots need air, so you water it, mm -hmm. and then the water drains away, leaving the medium still moist, but plenty of air spaces. So you can't just go in your backyard and dig up some soil. Right. And you okay. want to have plants that have the same demand. So everything mm -hmm. that we've got for this container is for the shade. This mm -hmm. was put together by one of our staff yesterday um, as uh, a good shade container. So mm -hmm. we can do this for okay. anybody. They come in and they can say, I want my container for shade or sun. Mm -hmm. And our staff will help them pick out flowers, greens. So once you make the decision, you can yes. put it together. So, yes. okay, we have uh, the Thriller, Filler, and Spiller. Those are the yes. keys. So what do we have in the pot right now? Well, I would say this is a Thriller. This is a Caladium, and it will, it will get, the leaves will continue to get quite large, and this is pretty pink and green. Mm -hmm. And then I would say this is another Thriller, which is an Impatience. Okay. And are we going to put that in? Yes. Okay, so can you explain to people what I'm doing here? She's unpotting her Impatience plant. You and trying to... not to really damage the roots getting it out. But now, look at those healthy roots. It's a well-grown plant. Now mm. she's 
going to massage. To, yes, massage okay. the roots. You want to break them up a little bit so that they um, make good contact in their new environment. I'm going to help you find a spot for it. All right. So we'll put that in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to work on this other, the spiller part over here. Mm -hmm. But Roberta, can you talk about some of the other types of containers you guys we, have here? Um, so this, this one isn't planted, but this is an herb container. So if you have sun and you want to have a selection of herbs, there's rosemary, thyme, lemon thyme, uh, lavender, and I'm not mm -hmm. sure what this is. Stevia. Stevia. This is the one that has the really sweet leaves. I think we, I see those on the commercials too. Yes. So, um, <laughs> Oregano. For, so, but you were saying too that you have pros from uh, Ulbrich and around the area here yes. that can help people during the sale Friday and Sunday. Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday, excuse me. Thank you. Friday and Saturday, yes. You can come and get landscape design advice. You can spend 20 minutes with the landscape architect. You maybe bring a drawing and he, and, um, Wrap it up. So now what I'm going to do, the spillers here, I'm going to well, fill actually, in the soil. Well, actually, we'll finish this here, but we'll send it back to uh, Adam and Charlotte in the studio. But thank you so much for all your help. Now, I hope someone will come in and buy this Mary Jo Ola container. Ooh. It'll be at a discounted price. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not promising that, but we'll send it back to you guys. <laughs> it is full price. All right. Thank you very much, Mary Jo. The flowers are blooming right on time over at Old Brick Botanical Gardens. Just in time to stroll the 16 beautiful acres there for Mother's Day. Mary Jo is there this morning with more on what to expect this Mother's Day weekend. Good morning, MJ. Hi, good morning, Adam and Charlotte. As you can see, we are in a beautiful spot here at Albrook Botanical Gardens. And with us here to talk more about what you can see this weekend is Katie Plantenberg. She's the PR and marketing manager here. Mm -hmm. So, Katie, thanks again for being with us. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Of course, and what a sight to see after the winter. It is. This is a sight for sore eyes right after this winter. Um, our meadow garden is pretty much in full bloom right now. Um, so you'll see a lot of different species, tulips, hyacinths, daffodils, um, and things will just keep changing throughout the next couple weeks of spring. What are some of the other flowers that you have here in the meadow garden mm -hmm. that we can't really see on the camera? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, some of those smaller tulips, um, you know, there's some longer grasses, some daffodils, um, and then the crabapples are stealing the show right now as well. I know, well, it's a beautiful sight. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, for you, working here, is this kind of, like you said, a sight for sore? Is like a refreshing feeling to be out here? Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, after this, you know, long winter, it's great to see stuff changing. Stuff is literally changing by the hour sometimes, depending on how warm the temperatures are, and the tulips are just starting to bloom. Um, and as we walked out here, I just saw some of our allium are just starting to open as well, too. Have you had a lot of people come out already? Yes, it's been really busy, um, especially last last Friday, last weekend, it was, it was really busy. So people are definitely getting out and enjoying this nice spring weather that we finally have. Now you have 16 acres mm -hmm. of land here to cover mm -hmm. at Old Brick. What are some of the other things that people can see on their Mother's Day stroll? Sure, the Thai Pavilion is always really popular. Um, and there's also the Serenity Meadow that overlooks the Thai Pavilion. So you'll see some bulbs out there. Um, the Rose Garden is always a favorite, especially with the kids to go up in the tower and feel like a princess. Um, and then the Herb Garden has a lot of different plants in it. And the Sunken Garden with its um, long reflecting pool is, is an iconic garden as well. And I don't know if folks can hear, but you have plenty of birds there are here lots. as well with all yeah. the scenery. Mm -hmm, definitely. Yeah, they're, they're chirping up a storm this morning. I know, they're awake. Yeah. So what's Mother's Day like here at Ulbrick? It's busy, um, but it's really great to see people coming out and enjoying, um, you know, the day with their mom. Uh, you can take in the concert if you want at 2 o'clock, uh, stroll in the Bulls Conservatory if the tropics are more your thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, just take a walk out here. It's, it's busy, it's great, but it's beautiful. A lot, a lot to see, Katie. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. You're welcome. All right, so to wrap things up, here at Albrecht this Mother's Day weekend, they have the plant sale with the pros. That's Friday and Saturday as well. And then the Mother's Day concert is Sunday at 2 o'clock. So Adam and Charlotte, we'll send it back to you. So much, Mary Jo. Great job out there this morning.